Good morning, Mount Zion. Here are your ministry, fellowship, and worship opportunities for the month of May. Attention all 2013 high school graduating seniors. We want to celebrate you at our annual Touch of Class event. This year, Touch of Class will be held on Saturday, June 15th at 4 p.m. If you are a current high school graduating senior, please visit MountZionNashville.org to register today. Get ready for an exciting time at Camp Zion. Middle and high school campers will gain access to a two-month gym membership, which includes basketball, swimming, volleyball, cardio workout, and a host of other exciting gym activities. We will challenge your academic standards as campers will engage in advanced math and language arts classes. Elective classes campers choose from include cooking, sewing, music production, and a host of others. We will also take exciting field trips, some for cultural learning and others for pure fun. I'm Sandra Baugh. I was diagnosed with invasive mammary carcinoma breast cancer. Uh, my, I woke up one Friday morning and discovered a cyst in my right breast. During that time, I uh, went to the doctor the next Tuesday. They done mammogram, they did ultrasound, but couldn't get a conclusive uh, Results, so I had to have what you call a core biopsy done. That did come back, and the news was not good. I got a phone call that it was cancer in one area, a small area. Um, during that time, of course, I was devastated, but I went into worship, I went into prayer, because I knew Jesus had already given me healing. He went to the cross by his stripes, so I was already healed. So the next uh, month, which was November, I had surgery and during surgery all counsel was removed and I give God all the honor, I give Him all the praise because it was only Him that could do it. Jesus is the answer. I'm Sandra Ball and I am a survivor. The children of Israel had hit a dry spot in their life. They hadn't had a priest out there in five years. And Ezekiel was commanded to preach to them bones. And they had got dry. But what do you do? What do you do when God puts your whole like Comcast and there's no background music playing? What do you do when you got a song but don't have a melody? What do you do when you got a dance but don't have a step? Come on, what do you do? When God come in your life and interrupt your life, what do you do? They hadn't had a preacher in five years out there, but Ezekiel kept prophesying to them. But not only he kept praying, but he stayed in purpose. I'm in a land and society by myself trying to believe in this Jesus who you speak of, and you show up when I'm lost and tell me what to do. Be quick to hear, be slow to speak, and be slow to anger, you say. But, but, but James, you're on the executive council of the church and you have position. I'm a volunteer and I just need some answers. Surely you saw my email. Surely you saw my Facebook message. I know you saw my tweet. Even saw you on Instagram straight flexing. Surely you saw me. I know you're busy, Bishop James, but you want me to follow instructions, but you haven't discipled me. You want me to walk this thing out, but you haven't talked this thing out. So how should I walk through this new season of transition? Because I'm certain, James, you don't know me. I didn't come from a church system that had all of these rules and regulations. Bishop James, I don't know much about Communion Sunday. I just remember when Paul taught at Corinth 
before we were scattered that Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me, which meant as often as I thought about him and I think about Jesus every day. So I can't relegate Jesus to first Sunday in all black. I think about him every day. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning with my mind and it was stayed on Jesus. I, 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 can't, I can't just wrap my mind around celebrating once a month. Some days you got to praise God just simply for being God. That he still is putting the sun in the sky. That he still is putting the stars at night. That he still letting the birds chirp. Some days you got to be able to pray, but then you got to be able to worship God. And some days you got to be able to worship God just for doing what God does and allowing you to live just one more day. And that doesn't involve all the time that some days you're crying because everything is going wrong in your life. Some days the tears are coming down your face because everything is going good in your life. Have you ever been crying late in the midnight hour because the tears are just coming down just because everything is all right? The bills are paid, the family's doing all right. You may not have everything that you want, but you got just enough that you need. And I'm grateful for what you gave me and that everything is all right. For more information regarding today's announcements, visit MountZionNashville.org and click the What's Happening tab. Or go mobile and download Mount Zion mobile app for media, news, and more.